at the Nerva and I'm here to share with you another sew along today. Today it's for this Simplicity casual jacket with the ribbed cuffs. Now we used to call this a bomber jacket when I was younger. I don't know if we still call it that now. Either way it's a fabulous little make. As you can see there's lots of variations on what you can do with this. So you could have contrasting sleeves, you could have an embroidery detail on the back and you can use a range of fabrics and textures on this. So I think this is going to be a fabulous jacket for your wardrobe. Now what we're going to do today is this, use this cable knit stretch fabric. Now it's textured, it's got a lovely pattern in it as you can see and it comes in 22 colours. Now it's got a 30% stretch width and a 25% stretch length and it's medium to heavy weight so perfect for a jacket such as this. It's also 150 centimetres wide. So that's what we're going to be using today and if you want to sew along with me everything will be linked together in a bundle below so all you have to do is click on that and you will get everything you need. So you will get the textured knit fabric in the colourway of your choosing, the simplicity pattern, a matching thread, the rib for the cuffs and round the neck and some lining fabric for inside to finish it off nicely and not forgetting a matching heavyweight zip. Now, while you're here, why not go ahead and join the Minerva Craft Club? You will get 10% off all your orders for a whole year. And that includes anything that you buy today. So it's a really good deal. So why not go ahead and do that now? Also, we'd love it if you create a free account. If you create a free account, you can share your projects and ideas with like-minded sewers from all over the world. You can share videos such as this one, collect all your fabrics and notions in one place and just generally share your love of sewing and craft with fellow makers from all over the world. It's completely free so why not go ahead and do that now. Now before we begin it's always best to wash and dry your fabric as you would normally. So do this preparation first before you begin cutting your pattern pieces. Then you want to have a look at your pattern and decide which option you're going to make. So if you're sewing along with me we're going to be making this fabric all in the knit stretch fabric. So we're going to be doing it all one colour and we're going to be going for version A right here and it's going to be lined. So these are the pieces we're going to be cutting. You want to check the back of your pattern, measure yourself and check that your measurements correspond with the sizes here. Don't just go for a standard off the right dress uh, size that you would normally buy in a shop. You need to make sure that these measurements are accurate so that there are no mistakes later on. Check your sizing, you have your fabric prepared and washed and now we're going to go ahead and cut out our pattern pieces. And we're going to do that together now. So here we have our pieces cut for our jacket. So this is your back piece and it's the piece for AB. You want to cut this one on the fold and one on the fold of lining fabric. This is your fold line here. Make sure you mark your notches and also these small circles. Here we have our front piece for our jacket. Again for AB, you want to cut two of fabric and two of lining. This line here marks your grain line. Mark your notches and your small circles again. This is your sleeve back for AB. 
you're going to cut two of fabric, two of lining. This is your grain line, mark your notches. Here we have the sleeve front for AB. The grain line is going this way, two of fabric again and two of lining. Here we have the pocket pieces for AB. You're going to cut four of this one and your grain line is going this way. Make sure you mark these circles here and again your notches. Here we have the lower band and the neck band. These are cut from your rib fabric, as you can see. Your lower band for AB is cut here on the centre fold. This is your fold line and you're going to cut one of these in the rib and mark these notches here and these small circles. This one is your neck band for AB. We're going to cut one again in the rib and this is your fold line. Here you have your sleeve band for AB. This is your grain line. This is your stretch. It's cut out of the rib again. Mark these notches here. So you're going to cut two in the rib fabric. And then this piece is the front band. So on your pattern, as you can see here, your rib goes round to there. And then we have this small front band here. So the, this band, this front band for AB, you're going to cut this out of your main jacket fabric and you're also going to cut two of interfacing. Now before we begin making our jacket our first job is to make sure that we have a stretch jersey needle in or a ballpoint needle and that we've put half of our thread on our spool ready before we begin so we don't have to stop halfway through and refill that. So make sure you've got plenty of thread on your spool and that you're, you have the correct needle. Then. We're going to take our front piece and where you've marked your notches and your circles, this is going to denote where everything is going to go. So first of all, locate these small circles here and take your pocket pieces. Now you're going to apply your pocket pieces matching the small circles and the notches to the sides of the jacket and we're going to apply these to the front and the back of the jacket and we're going to do this now. So here I have my jacket front and here is my pocket piece. As you can see, right side facing. Here is the curved edge. Match your notches. And as you can see, your dots match here. So we're going to stitch this down the side. We're going to do the same on both sides and also on the back. When you have your pockets on, let your seam fall outwards, the pocket away from the jacket. We're going to sew it close to that seam towards the outside. Now, you're going to place your front piece on top of your back piece and you're going to stitch down the side seam. Stop when you get to here and leave an opening for your pocket and then you're just going to stitch a small amount here at the bottom. 
When you've done that, we're going to stitch around our pocket pieces. And use a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance, unless otherwise stated. So here is 1.5. Stop when you get to your markings and stitch below it. And when you've done that, you can press your pocket towards the front and you can do a few reinforcing stitches here and here. Next, you want to baste the pocket to the jacket front. So, once you've pressed it forward, so this is your jacket front with your pocket underneath, you're going to stitch just along this edge, just to keep it in place. Try not to pull it. And you're going to do that on both sides. Next, you're going to join a sleeve front to a sleeve back. So you place them right sides facing, bring your notches together, you're going to stitch down this underarm and the outer here, matching notches. When you have your sleeve pieces together, then we're going to sew a line of stitching going around the bottom of the sleeve and this is so that we can gather it. So you leave your threads loose at either end and don't back stitch. Open up your seams as you reach them. Now we're going to pin the sleeve to the jacket. So here are your notches. This shows that this is the back sleeve and this is the back of the jacket. So match those notches. Pin it the whole way. Just going to put one in there for now. Match your underarm. You want to put a pin in there. And then continue pinning along the front. So now you're going to stitch your sleeve to your jacket with a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance. Take your pins out as you go. Try not to pull on your fabric as you're working with it, with it being a stretch fabric. Now with right sides together, you're going to stitch down the side of your sleeve band. And do the same on both. Bring your notches together. Fold the seams in to look like this. Now if you check and at this point it feels a little loose and you'd like that snugger at the wrist you can also always make that seam a little wider. It's up to you. I think I'm going to leave mine like this because if you're wearing something under it you might not want it too snug at the wrist. So at the bottom of your sleeve you've got your gathering threads pulled. Get your band and match your seam on your band with your underarm sleeve on your jacket. And pin that in place. And you can match your notches on your band. Place a pin and keep going the whole way around, checking that your gathers are even 
that your band is even. Pinning as you go. And on the right side, it will look like this. Now fold your neckband in half and matching notches, pin to the back of your jacket. Now you're going to pin this all the way along before stitching it in place. And what you want to make sure is that on your neckband, these dots here match your shoulder seam on either side. So here are my dots, one there and one there, and they match my shoulder seam. And then you've got the two notches in the middle that match up at the back. Pin it all the way along, and then we're going to stitch this to the jacket. Make sure your band lies even as you go. Now take your front band piece and your two small pieces that have your interfacing on and you're going to attach those at either side of your rib band. Now match your notches one either side. Repeat on the other side. Now, so the front of your band will look like this, and then when you fold it, this will be the bottom of your jacket, and this part is where it meets the zip. Now, at this point, your jacket is looking a lot more finished already. So, we just need to add our zip, our lining and our band and we're almost there. Now along the lower edge of your jacket you're going to do a line of gathering stitches all the way along and you're then going to pull those gathering stitches so that they measure 3.8 centimetres less than the original measurement. So measure it first, do your gathering stitches and then it wants to be 3.8 centimetres less. When you've done that, you can stitch over it to keep your gathers in place once they are even. And then we're going to attach our band. So now you're going to pin your band to the bottom of the jacket. Pull it a little as you go and make sure that your gathers that you've pulled in remain even. So we're going to stitch this on now. Now you're going to attach your zip. So at the top, just on your band part here, you had one small dot. This is where you're going to match up the top of your zipper and then at the bottom on your band you had another dot just here on the front bottom band that is where the bottom of your zipper lines up pin it the whole way we're going to stitch this on now using your zipper foot and then you're going to pin the other side now sometimes it's a good idea to make a couple of additional chalk marks on your zipper here and here at intervals just to make sure that you're not pulling the fabric on the other side when you attach the other side of the zipper because that can happen sometimes. That can just be an extra guide to help you. Maybe you'd like to do this now. Sometimes to avoid it being uneven it's a good idea just to pull your zipper out of the way while you get started. Attach all your linings together in the same way, omitting the pockets of course, and then you're going to attach it to the bottom of your band. Match all your notches in the same way. So here is your band and here are your notches and this is your lining. Right sides of lining to right side of the band. Pin it at the notches and determine where your side seams are and the side seam of the lining. Open up the seam and pin it there. And locate the notches to the front and line up there. So you're going to stitch that all the way along. You can gather your lining, but I find if you just pull on your band, that's fine. So just pull on your band as you go. And we're going to stitch that on there now. Now if you turn up your bottom band 
and pin it here to make sure that the seam matches. And right side of lining to right side of jacket, you're going to pin that up the side of the zip all the way to the top. And to stitch down the side of that zip, you're going to want to put your zipper foot back on. So pin that down there now, taking care not to pull on it again. And we're going to stitch that down both sides. Now when you've stitched at the bottom of the zip, it's a good idea to snip a little bit off as well, so you get a nice point coming out there at the bottom. Next, pin your lining all around your neck, matching all the notches. Again, you're going to want to pull on the band as you stitch the lining to it. Pull on that stretch of the band. So I'm going to show you the hand stitch way because I know a lot of people will find this easier. So push your lining sleeve in now, so it's like this. And because you've pushed it in with your arm, it will be straight and not twisted, which can sometimes happen when you pull through. So here we have it. So there is your seam for your underarm there. So if you flip that back, underarm seam there, and underarm seam there. Turn it under and line it up. And just pop a pin there. Oops, that was sharp. So we have one there. Turn it round, find your other seam. So now you can just stitch round there with hand stitches. And you can also adjust your uh, gathers as you go quite easily. So you can pull them in with your hand stitching. So it's just another way of doing it if you don't want to pull through and you find that sometimes you get a little bit twisted in your sleeve. So you can do it this way. And I quite enjoy hand stitching, but if you want to do it on your machine, you can. But this is just another way of doing it. And just to hold everything together, you might want to just do some stitching in the ditch just along the band. Now you can do this on the inside, but I prefer to do it on the outside because you can just see how flat everything's lying. So I like to do it like this. So if you do it in this ditch here, it is invisible. Make sure everything's lining up. So here it is on. It's super cosy. I think this will be one that I make quite a lot. Got good deep pockets. Now I've got it on with the dress today, but probably not what I'd wear it with. Lining. Well, I hope you enjoyed that sew along. Have you made this pattern before? Please let us know in the comments below. We'd love to see what you've been making. Remember to like and follow Minerva to get more videos and content like this every week. If you want to make this pattern with me in the same way, using the same materials, remember everything will be linked together in a bundle below. If you wish to choose a different colour, just add that. Do you have any questions? Please drop them in the comments and we will do our best to help you in any way that we can. Well, that's all for today. And I hope to be back with another sew along really soon. Bye for now.